You know, one of the challenges I've found use, being on the ketogenic diet is finding something unique that fulfills all the needs of that diet that I can use while I'm out in the woods. So I've tried a number of things. A lot of them are things that we all enjoy, like bacon. You can, can never have too much bacon when you're on a ketogenic diet. That's licensed to enjoy your bacon. But there is something else that I found not long ago that I have been using a number of times that I thought I'd make a specific video on and share it with you in case you're not aware of it. It is halloumi cheese. So this video will be bacon wrapped halloumi cheese and that'll be my lunch. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, Mark, so what is halloumi cheese? Well, halloumi cheese is something that originated in Cyprus. It is primarily a Middle Eastern thing and at its most basic, it is a grillable cheese. And what I mean by grillable is it doesn't melt. You can put this on the end of a stick, in your fry pan, on a grill. It'll soften, it'll take grill marks, but it will not melt and run away on you. That's pretty unique. I don't know of any other cheeses. There's, I think paneer from India may be similar, but not quite the same. So what is halloumi cheese made from? Goat's milk, sheep's milk, and occasionally cow's milk. It is primarily the cheese curds. They're not aged with any of the bacterials that give most of our cheeses our flavors. Rather, it is simmered in either a little salt water bath or salt water and whey, whey being from the milk itself. So in that simmering, that's what creates a cheese that is resistant to heat and resistant to melting. Uh, I don't know whatever it is or how for sure it's made, but I can tell you this, it is delicious. Now, there's not a lot of flavor in the halloumi cheese by itself. Salty, yeah, a bit of salty, but not a lot of flavor. So the flavor comes from whatever it was added in by the cheese maker or what you add on it when you go to cook it. So the block of halloumi that I have today has been made, impregnated with jalapeno peppers, as you can see all through this block. So it should have a good spicy flavor on it. Actually, this is only the half of the block. I've already eaten the other half at home. You could eat it raw. I don't think you'd enjoy it. It has a rubbery texture, uh, not a lot of flavor. In this case, maybe the jalapeno would give it some flavor, but it is in cooking when it starts to soften up and it takes those grill marks and that nice uh, caramelization on the surface that comes from grilling or from frying it in a fry pan with a little bit of oil. That's when the flavor really starts to come out. So. Like I said, it's going to be bacon wrapped halloumi cheese. Let me take you down to the surface area where I'm working and we'll put it together and get it on the grill. All right, here's where the fun begins. So hopefully you can hear me while I go through this process because it's windy, very, very windy here today. You can probably tell from the, the lighting changing by coming through the leaves above. So very simple process. I'm going to divide my halloumi into, well, I've got five slices of bacon, I think, yes, five slices of bacon. One I'll divide it, divide it into five pieces and wrap each one up. Uh, I forgot my toothpicks, so I had to make a few toothpicks out of a piece of maple branch here. So let's see if this will work. Again, since this is only softening and not melting, the last one's gonna be a little thicker, that's all right. Uh, the size of it isn't all that important, so let me start on this end. Make one of these gorgeous pieces of bacon, wrap it around. I think I can do a little bit better than that though, Mark. Here we go, that's better. And let me pierce this one up to hold the bacon on. All right, so halloumi cheese all wrapped up in bacon. I'll do that with the other five pieces and then we'll get them on the barbecue. All right, let's get these bacon wrapped halloumi cheese. I don't think I've got enough room. Well, gonna be some juggling going on here. Starting to stick, of course, because it's uh, first hitting it, but that'll come off. Yeah, missed a little bit of a miscalculation and how much space I needed. I didn't think I was going to make five of them. I was originally only going to make four, but I'll be able to juggle them around uh, as they uh, as they cook so that I get all five of them cooked. So while I'm, these are cooking, or starting to cook anyway, you can see the, oh, what a nice smell. 
Uh, while they're starting to cook, the uh, I just wanted to mention that I have done other things with halloumi cheese, such as made shish kebabs. In fact, there will be a video coming out with the FlexFire 6 Premium, the big stove, where I grill shish kebabs with halloumi cheese on it. Came out wonderful, of course. Uh, you could do it in a fry pan, just fry it in with whatever else you wanted to. Again, it's not going to melt and, and go all over the place and stick to the pan. It works very well. A little bit of ghee, butter, oil, something in the bottom of the pan. And uh, yeah, just put it on the end of a stick like you might a marshmallow and hold it over the coals and heat it up and cook it that way. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty versatile in terms of adding some protein and when you're on the ketogenic diet, some fat to your meal. So this is going to take some time. Oh, starting to drip a little bit of bacon fat, of course. See if I can do this without dropping them on the ground. Come on, Mark. All right, so I'm going to have to focus on what I'm doing here just to make sure that I don't drop any of these wrapped goodness. And when they're done, I'll bring you back. All right, I thought I'd include this while I'm watching very carefully off to my left here, the, the bacon-wrapped halloumi cheese cooking. Somebody mentioned one of my re recent videos. They couldn't believe I prepared a whole meal and didn't have coffee. Now, rest assured, I had coffee, but I just wanted to prove it today that I am having coffee with my meal because that would be very unlike me not to do that. So, AeroPress, Rampage Coffee. Inside of the AeroPress, where's my little spoon buried itself down inside? I ground this coffee this morning before coming out. One, two, this is going to be strong. Three, well, it's a big cup too, so. Now, the only trick will be, of course, is I have to wait until the bacon wrap halloumi comes off so that I can put my kettle on and then I'll be able to make the coffee. So again, I'll bring it back when the bacon wrapped halloumi. Oh, and I have a special dessert that I want to share with you. It's going to be a separate video, but I'll share it with you, at least show you it when, uh, when it's time to eat. All right, I think they're done. You see how the cheese isn't melting? softening but not melting. Oh that one really my toothpick got caught on fire. Oh yeah they're ready. Now I can take this off so that I can put my kettle on for coffee. All right let's have some lunch. All right lunch is ready. Let's see if I can't give you a close-up and just in case you thought all I was having was bacon wrapped halloumi which would be enough I added something to it, of course. Let's see what I can show you. Am I in frame yet? No, there we go. All right, so, yes, tan cooked sauerkraut. This is the fermented type. Very good for you, very healthy, and very tasty. My bacon wrapped halloumi. All right, that looks like I'm in focus. So, of course, I do have to pull the toothpicks out. They came out easy ones that didn't light up on fire. Oops, some of them are just breaking off. I'll know when I cut into them, of course. And one more. Now let's try one of these things out. See the cheese in there? Like I said, didn't melt, but it did get soft. And on the other end, got a little caramelized. Mmm. I think there was something else on top of the jalapeno cheese in there. I think there was olive pieces or something because it is a little bit salty. I expected that. And of course, bacon's a little bit salty all by itself. Mm. Not overly spicy. All good. All good flavor. Another bite. Amazing. It's interesting. The cheese is softened. It is not melted. It's not running. But it's a little bit squeaky. That's the funny thing. You can hear it when you bite into it. It squeaks a little bit. 
That does nothing to deter me from eating it, and it does nothing to change the flavor. A little bit of the sauerkraut. Nice tangy sauerkraut, locally made. The fermented one has all the probiotics in it. Great accompaniment to this. I hope you can hear me over this wind, it's crazy. Mm. Okay, if you have not heard of halloumi cheese before, I would encourage you to uh, take a look at it. I'll put the spelling, of course, and what information I can in the video description below. But I would encourage you to try this and try a number of different ways. You don't have to be on a ketogenic diet to try this. Cheese is good anytime, as is bacon. It just, it adds, I've got the right amount of fats, so the right amount of proteins, and the right amount of carbohydrates for a good meal here. Okay, I'm going to finish this up, which will take me a few minutes, but before I go, I wanted to share my dessert with you while I have my coffee. So stick around for a few more minutes. Give that a minute to steep. I'll press the coffee through and I'll share with you my special dessert. All right, so that was a lunch. What time is it? It's three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just finishing up lunch. What's the rush, right? You're out here in the woods enjoying yourself. Beautiful day, windy, almost frighteningly windy, but uh, still a beautiful day. Nice temperatures. Ah, yeah, great lunch, followed by a great cup of coffee and my dessert, which I'll share with you in a second. And yes, I'm still enjoying my Rampage coffee. And yes, I'm still enjoying using my AeroPress. And I think I mentioned before, I will be making a cowboy coffee, bush coffee, camp coffee video as soon as we are out from under the fire ban. It doesn't seem appropriate to make that over alcohol or charcoal. So as soon as I can, I am going to be making a video on cowboy coffee. But let me share with you my dessert. And as I mentioned, this is coming out in a separate video. I'm not sure which will come first, this one or the other one. But this is a bannock made with spruce tips. It's a sweeter dessert bannock because I added the sweetener to it. That is nice. Sometimes it's just nice to have something a little sweet with your coffee after a good meal. Okay. If you have any comments on the meal today that I made with the halloumi cheese and the bacon wrapped around it, if you have any suggestions on how I could have done things different, any suggestions for meals you'd like to see, I'd be interested in knowing if you have tried halloumi cheese and how you cook it. As I mentioned, I did mine in bacon, but you could do it directly in a fry pan, directly on the grill. I've done it also with shish kebabs, and the simplest way is to put it on the end of a stick and roast it over some hot embers. Whatever way, I'd be interested in knowing how you would appreciate it. If you have not tried it, let me know if you're going to try it so that I know what you think of it as well. Again, if you have any other meal suggestions, put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.